Greetings. I'm here to do my shadow of the week. My shadow of the week is something like my makeup bag of the week or shop my stash. This week I am going to be all about celebrating Halloween and probably next week as well because I have quite the Halloween stash. So I have taken out a little box of pigments. You can see here's the Glamour Doll Eyes that I talked about. There's a lot of Fernay in there. There is Pumpkin and Poppy. I've pulled out three of the Pumpkin and Poppy lip pencils. One is Danny. That is from her Halloween collection. I think it was the I Put a Spell on You collection as opposed to the Once Bitten. This is a color called Crucify. I had this on yesterday when I did the Fernay pigments. And this last one is a color called Blood Roses. I wanted to play with these three fall colors from her. And other than that, it really is pretty much the pigments that I got from Glamour Doll Eyes or that I got from Fernay from their 2011 and 2012 collections, as well as the Pumpkin and Poppy I Put a Spell on You and Once Bitten. I think given all of these colors, I should be able to come up with a look or two for at least a week, and I'm thinking two weeks. In addition to that, I'll be working on some of my Project 10 pans. I am working on Project Concealer Pan. I'll be alternating between toxic product that I want to get rid of and natural concealers. And for the natural concealers, I'll put the link down for that concealer video so you can see what I am using. My toxic product this week is going to be this Makeup Forever palette. I just need to go ahead and get through as much of this as I can. Not sure how much of it I will use. I'm attracted to something like this because especially at this time of year my skin starts to become paler and I need to mix colors to find out exactly where I want to be in terms of shades. This also has a corrector and I sometimes use that corrector although not often. As you can see from the use pattern I'm mostly hanging out here in this range. I also need to make some headway on my Project Foundation pan. Same thing there, trying to get rid of the toxic product and move in with the natural. So I will be using my samples from Vapor Organic Beauty and Cowgirl Dirt. Those are my natural organic product. And I'll be mixing that in with Tarte's Amazonian Clay Foundation, which does have phenoxyethanol. But I decided that would be the one I would use this week. I'm doing the same thing with primer, actually. I don't have an all-over face primer anymore that is toxic. I've been using this Youthful Trends Caffeinated Makeup Primer. Really like it. It's a spray primer. And in fact, you can see I ordered a backup. So I have this. This is almost gone. And I'll be continuing to use that. I really do enjoy that product. I do, however, have this Laura Geller eye product that I just need to get rid of. It does have parabens. You can see that I've marked it. So once this is gone, I'll chuck it and it will be something that won't come back. Finally, I'll be playing with samples of glows and highlighters that I've gotten from All Natural Face or Fernay. And I think I have some coming in from Fusion of Color. So I want to try out some different glows, highlighting products. And I have quite a few blush samples coming in, so I'll be playing around a little with the blush samples. That's it for this coming week, and it'll probably be for next week as well. I might make a few changes next week. I'll do another video, and I'll do looks throughout the week. So my debrief will be for Celebrate Halloween 1. With this many Halloween products coming in, I just figured I had to do a Celebrate Halloween and that doing it for just the week of Halloween wasn't going to be enough. I'll be creating everyday looks, but they'll have just a touch of the season, um, and that'll be the Halloween season. You know, some people wear theme sweaters. I'm not much of a theme sweater person, but I guess I'll be doing Halloween-themed makeup for this week and probably next week. Let me talk really quickly about what I've done today. Today, no foundation at all. The eyes are all Makeup Geek, and for today, I used Drama Queen, which was a new shadow for me. I used Mango Tango, Chickadee, and Unexpected. So these right here, as well as Drama Queen. And there it is. I did blend it out on the lid with one of my favorite products. I just kind of keep this out now. This is the Body Language or Master the Look Pot of Gold. It's not really a color. It's a little overwash. And I used that right in the center to blend the two colors that I had on the lid so that instead of having the purple and the orange color kind of meet up at the, on a line, I just blended that out with this Pot of Gold. 
On my lips, I've received from Eve Organics a sample of their lipstick called Marvelous. The texture on this is really, really interesting. It's not enough color for me, really like the shine it gives, but I think I would probably put something like Crucify underneath it and then lay this over just to give a little bit more definition. The problem with me and nude lip colors is that I'm already nude by nature. I am so white and so pale that I really do look better with just a bit more definition, I think. Or it could just be that I am you know, 53, I came of age in the 70s and the 80s, and I just have never adjusted to the nude lip. I was looking at Vogue this month and Harper's Bazaar, and it was so strange because Vogue had all these vibrant lips, and Harper's Bazaar was nude lip, nude lip, nude lip, nude lip. I went, oh heavens, I'll never make it through this season. But then looking at Vogue, I'm like, yes, look at those deep, dark, luscious kind of colors on the lips. and. I know which trend I'll be following. I did though want to try this Eve Organic. They had a giveaway where if you were the first five people to respond, you were supposed to get this product. And I thought I was one of the first five to respond, but they wrote me back and said, no, you're not one of the first five to respond, but we'll send you a couple of things anyway. So they sent me a lip balm and two lipstick samples. So I'm trying out the lipsticks, but poo, I really did think I was going to get that eyeshadow that I had had my eyes on. So. Don't know if I'll order that or not. Probably not, but I'll try the samples. I do like the texture of this quite a bit. And once I get past being miffed about not being one of the five, who knows, I might order from them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will enjoy my little Halloween series celebrating Halloween 1 and 2. And if you feel like it, play along with me. Trick or treat time. I don't think I've ever enjoyed Halloween as much as I have this year, discovering all of these small independent companies that really make a fuss about Halloween. It's so much fun. It's Sunday. I'm getting ready for the week. Gotta finish up my grading. It's chilly here, definitely fall, and a little overcast, but I plan to make it a great day, and I hope you do too. Bye.